Let's see about beating some Leisure Suit Larry tonight. Said your bank. <sighs> we get the raunchiest. The raunchiest level. Oh. The music's playing again. It's interesting to think about our perceptions and our memories, right? Like how we visualize and experience the past uh, or the future without obviously currently being there. Whoa, we're getting deep. But man, I remember blaring this music. As a kid, this sounds so much like Eco Quest. It'd be so cool to talk to somebody that like made the music or made the, you know made the game and let them know like still enjoying it thirty years later, you know. Oh, I have to go to the restroom and grab, I also have to grab a water, so I'll be right back. I'm not going to grab the water from the restroom, that'd be weird. Excuse me, and then we're going to come back and we're going to go to the gym. We're going to go work out at Fat City.
Alright, so let's go ahead and give it a give it a whirl. So we're gonna go to uh, restore and our last one is uh, is Fat City. So Passionate Patty just told us last night that we're too fat. So we gotta go to Fat City. Newest and brightest hell spa. Open door. Hell yeah. That's a maze and a half. Look at card. So we have 69, and then we have Piggy's Coffee Shop, Chip and da uh, Dale's, None to Night, Community Center. So then, that's going to give us actually the combination. So, we also need the Leisure Suit Larry 3 game manual, which we'll pull up on Sierra Help. And then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. Uh, none tonight. Okay. We're basically wanting to go down and find out... Where are these different? So we don't have the comedy hut. Okay, the Nun Tonight Community Center is the third number it's on page nine so i think our third page is i think our third digit is nine uh and then we also have okay chip chippendales so chippendales is uh page 12. now chippendales is the second one. So we're gonna do 12, okay, and then, so the very first one is gonna be the Piggy's Coffee Shop. So we need to find Piggy's Coffee Shop. Excuse me. Okay, Piggy's Coffee Shop, I just found it, is on 18, page 18. So, 18129. What's up, Camper Carl? 18129 is going to be our combination for the locker, because I'm looking through the game manual here, and I just found Piggy's Coffee Shop on page 18, Chippendales on page 12, and then the Nun Tonight Community Center on page 9. So, 18129 is going to be our locker combination. And it is, um, it's, it's locker 69. So look at locker. 
open locker. There's no way that this is actually the right one. I just like walk up to any freaking locker. Okay, read locker number. 429 Shit balls Oh, it's the one that's by itself, I think. What you have to do tonight, Camp Carl? Okay. Oh, I see the one at the end of the... At the end of the aisle here, though. There we go. World of Warcraft. Stop hitting me! I can see my house! Hey, locker 69. Open locker. What was it again? 18, 18, 12, 9. Yeah, buddy! Look in locker. We have some deodorant. That's good to know. So we can get rid of the combination, I think. Okay, so we're gonna go work out. So, sweats. Okay, so wear... Sweatsuit. Okay, okay. We're gonna go work out now. I got a bird out on my bird feeder right now. It's a really weird looking bird though. It's not, it's like not, it's like a dark red. It's not. Oh, that's the, that's the shower. We don't want to go to the shower then. Oh my God. We're probably going to break something here. Uh, Jim. Okay. So what do we have? We have bench press. Use bench press. until we die. Leisure suit Larry over here is working out like crazy, man. Yeah, it's a hundred pounds. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna stop like right at a hundred. Okay, use 
machine. Okay. I think we should just do like a hundred of each. Actually, it just told me, hey, you've done 12 pull-ups. Is that all I needed to do? Let's let's stop. Yeah, you need to get the timing just right. Huh. Wonder how long we'd have to do this for. Leisure suit Larry three Fat City. Is there a fourth machine over here? Don't die. Use pull up bar. So confused. Like, I'm only seeing three things to work out on. Use machine. What? So it doesn't want us to do any more of this stuff. Okay. Bench press, weightlifting bench, the pull-up station, and the pull bar. The pull bar. Uh, 
I don't see a leg curl bench. Do leg curls. Far side of the bench. Oh. Son of a... That's not at all how that works in a gym. <laughs> Look and feel like a new. Oh, good lord. Incredible dork. There's the pull setting pectorals right there, dudes. Body sprung a leak. So I'm in, I'm in better shape, apparently, is what it's telling me. Oh, uh, do I have to do the damn locker again? What was it? 18, 12, 9? This fucking game. Well, there goes 20 minutes. Shit, this is all different now. tonight nectarine yeah right exactly none tonight nectarine advisory board a different cardinal dude i've noticed like multiple cardinals coming and hanging out oh island office and voodoo supply is page 13 so the second number now on my new code is 13 i'm also looking for none tonight nectarine advisory board and none tonight community center which we did before Nineteen is the advisory board. Is the first so the first one is nineteen, and then I think the last one 
is, is still nine. The community center. Yeah. Okay. So now I have to go pump. However, pumping iron will be way quicker this time, because now I actually know how to do it. And we completely forgot to lock the damn locker, so... To not, not to use my pad, my numpad. Wear sweats. Close locker. Close locker. You're not close. I'm literally fucking running into it. It is. I'm gonna make that mistake again. Not a pull up. Oy, oy, oy. I, it's so boring to redo stuff in video games for me. So boring. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our towel. Where 
towel. Close locker. Wow, Larry is looking jacked. What the hell? Little shredded Larry over here. Oh, they're definitely showing Larry's cock right now. Look at that. His cock's on my nose, dude. Gross! Larry cock. Oh my god. I don't know where the hell the faucet is. Turn on water. Fucking... Really? That's like what they had- they had to do that, huh? Yay, we have faucet. Use soap. Okay. Use soap. Soap on a rope, bros! Soap on a rope. Okay, soap's all gone. We're nice, uh, we're nice and rinse off. Yep, we're rinsed off. Uh, turn water off. I'm just so happy that we got to see Larry's cock and balls right now. Good lord. Dry off. Use deodorant. Psst. Wear the leisure suit. Okay. I think we're good to go to get out of the gym now. Explore the gym some more, though. Don't ever say the word it's again.
Judo chop, judo chop, judo kick, judo kick. How are these sex positions? I mean, I can kind of see where that one's gonna go, but. Oh, she's shaking that rump, dude. She twerking, she twerking. You do the twerk one all the time? The workout position, the, the twerk? No, you, I think you said that before, the twerk. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that one, that's a, that's, that's, that, whoa. Oh, it just, I saw some sp Oh. Oh. Oh, where are we going? Oh, I was gonna. I was curious as to what this room was gonna be. Oh. Oh yeah. Let's get her done. Let's get her done, hon. Oh, get, get after her, Larry. Jesus. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna get a tan. Ha ha ha. It's stuck. <laughs> oh my God. Well, hey, at least we got a good, a little good romp there. Ooh, back to the good music. back to the casino, which I think is actually this way, because now that we're in better shape, we can go to Patty. Let's go see old Patty. Passion and Patty. I think the name of the fifth game is Passion and Patty does a little undercover work. Sit down. Look at Patty. Ooh, talk to Patty. What's up, girl? Okay, uh, ask out on date. Oh my god, now I gotta go get her a gift. These women. God, I got in shape for her. I got a divorce. Now she wants presents? You women are all the same. Uh, 
Yeah, what does she need now? Needs a present. <laughs> Women are so needy. I tell you. Think if we go Chippendales, we can go in here. We can get some flowers. Get flowers. Because we're gonna have to get these flowers. It doesn't want us to take the other flowers, so. Make a lay. Alright, now we got a present for her. Maybe now she'll finally let me take her on a date. back baby there's a lot of walking for O'Leary Laffer he is going to town looking for love in all the right places this time he's getting laid left and right he didn't how many times did he have sex in the first game just the ones is like confirmed presumably he got laid at the end of the game as well look at man looks like the king talk to the king didn't want to be disturbed. Fine. Sit down. Look at Patty. Give lay to Patty. Go on a date. God, now she needs a drink! Son of a... Now we gotta go get some wine for her. Man, these women. I'm telling you. Comedy store, comedy store, comedy store. Where was the comedy store? Shit balls. Not there. Oh my god, look, do we still have the freaking. We still do have the beach towel. Fat City. Oh yeah, this is um... You have to go to the right of the... Yeah, to the right at Chippendales here. Alright, I will BRB. BRB. Thank you. 
And we're back. Auto save trademark warning. I wasn't even hungry, I'm just sad. Don't be jealous of me eating like a fat piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I hear you, dude. To tan or not to tan. I saw Summit playing it. It looked kind of cool for like the five minutes I watched. Marvelous. What do you think of it? Can you look cool? Huh? What do you mean you only get access until September 4th? What happened September 4th? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's dumb. be like a huge distraction. All right, passionate Patty, I'm coming.
F8 will bypass the scene? to play. Whichever side has more people doing the work is going to win, right? <laughs> Shut up and give it to me, Larry. Excuse me. practicing this whole time. I bet her she's fucking lying to us. Fucking women. this oh pectorals could pulse it like this or that I still smoked. <sighs> I want my money back from what? Whoa. 
Whoa, call my boyfriend. Sorry, Arnold. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they didn't pop. Stupid. Uh-oh. Fucking whore. Whore, bitch. Frustrate me again. I mean, she is a fucking bitch. She's got a boyfriend. She's cheating on the guy that she's with, with Larry. Fuck, like, why can't they just ever be like single and not fucking be whores when you meet them? Ugh. Yeah, Larry just went to Azeroth. He's like, I'm going to Baron's chat. She's like, uh oh, there's no Larry. I wonder why. Stupid fucking bitch. She made my ass get her a gift. I had to get her wine, I had to get a tan, I had to get a better body, I had to get a divorce. <laughs> what did she have to do? Fucking nothing. What a whore. of white polyester. Uh-oh. Uncharted bamboo forest. He's out. Larry's like, I'm done. His pulsating pectorals are recognizable anywhere. play as the fucking whore. Yeah, Larry's out walking around in the forest trying to find a woman that ain't a piece of shit whore. I gotta get more food. BRBs.
not. Get dress. Who the fuck is gonna be calling me right now? Get the fuck up. Take off dress. Put on panties. Put, wait, is she still nakes? Damn it. Put on bra. Okay, we can't see her. Put on panties. Ah, there we go. We're putting all the clothes. Put on dress. That's kind of weird that you have to do that all like in that order. Get bottle. Take that bottle of wine, baby. All right, Grim the Reaper. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for the sub, man. I really appreciate that, dude. Thanks for thinking of me. Thank you for supporting the stream. How is your Tuesday going? Nice, dude. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy quinceanera. What do you think? Do you feel di do you feel different now that you're 15? Youngest, but the tallest. <laughs> right on, dude. Did you get any new video games for your birthday? Did Santa Claus bring you some cool stuff or what? everything up with my diet. I like lost faith in humanity today. Fucking the shittiest mood. 
95 bucks? Hell yeah! And a couple other gifts. Sweet. What are you gonna do with your 95 bucks? Are you gonna invest it? Are you gonna save it? Spend it on wasteful things. Seventy-three on video games and save the rest. Nice. Oh, a knife. Fifteen inch. Good lord. I always carry a knife uh, with me wherever I go. I always have like it's about three inches, but it's like a nice, like good size, like pocket knife. I'm just like I find that in my life, I'm just always like cutting stuff. You know. The other day we went kayaking. Camping Carl came with me. We went kayaking. And this girl was like, right in the middle of the trip, she's like, Do you just, does somebody have like a pair of tweezers? Or whatever she said. I don't think she asked for tweezers. She asked for, did she ask for something? I think she asked for like something sharp. You know, and it was like, I'm Patty. Pull my knife out, and she's like, oh, that's awesome. I was like, yeah, that's why I carry it. Get tip glass. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Fuck it, I hate Patty. I do not like Passionate Patty at all. Uh, whoops. Look at Blackboard. Okay. Get pen. Just be very careful with that knife, man. I had a... I still have a really sharp knife, but I keep it in my safe. I don't use it for anything. It's just kind of like my collector knife. It's so sharp. I went to go open up a... Uh, like a package or a box or something. I pulled it out to like cut the tape. And uh man. Um I got to the end, I think I hit something and like it jerked the knife out of my hand and I dropped the knife. Whoop! And I was barefoot. The knife landed right next to my toe. When it landed right next to my toe, it like stuck down and then it just like fell over. It like just did this, it just fell over onto my toe and it, it sliced the shit on my toe. If it would have actually fallen on my foot, I'd have had to go to the emergency room, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I super lucked out. What's in our inventory? We have an empty bottle. Let's drink some water. Okay. I 
don't think you can go to the right. Yeah. <clears throat> Inventory. I have a bottle of water now. Man, I don't like Patty. I'm so mad at Patty right now. We gotta get this game beat. This is three Leisure Suit Larrys in a row. We gotta play something else. It's still kinda early. I might even I might even play The Last of Us yet still tonight. Well the reason I don't like Patty is because Leisure Suit Larry Leisure Suit Larry has been Going through the first Leisure Suit Larry game, the second Leisure Suit Larry game, and then this whole entire game, Leisure Suit Larry 3, he's looking for love. And he's like a 40-year-old virgin type person, you know? Like, he's not a stud. He does not have a way with ladies. So, like, in the first game, you're trying to have him, like, go after the ladies. And at the end... Oh, right on, Carl, dude. We'll, we'll catch you later, bro. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Um, but in, at the very end of Leisure Suit Larry 1, you run into this girl named Eve. And, uh, you know, you're like, oh, man. Like, she's in a hot tub. You're, like, on top of this uh, casino. You're on, like, the top of the casino. You run into Eve. Like, you give Eve an apple, you know. And... Uh, and then you're you're with Eve, and and the next game, the start of the next game, Eve throws you out of her house. Well, she never invited you into her house, anyways. But so now the whole second game, like you're you're looking for love in several wrong places, is what the game's called. And uh, you know you find this chick named uh, Kalalau, and Kalalau is like on this island right here. It's, it's called Nun Tonight Island, and. You know, you you go through all these like trials and tribulations, this big adventure, and then you end up being with Kalalau, and you marry her, and you save uh, the the island uh, and all its inhabitants. The tri the tribe it's uh, Kalalau is like one of the tribesmen, um, the native tri uh, tribes people on the on the island, and you save them from Doctor No Nookie. So, you know, Larry's just cooking, you know, he's going to town and he gets with Kalala. Well, at the at the beginning of this game, Kalala's like, nah, I want a divorce. See you later, dude. And she gets with some girl, I think, named Billy. So your love of your life, Kalala, leaves you for Billy. Well, now in this game, we're going through it, we're going through it. We see this chick and we see that chick, the lawyer chick, and you know, we see the chick on the beach, and now we see this chick right here, the Pat, Patty's the piano player. Her name's Passionate Patty. And so now you, uh, Larry and Passionate Patty, like, she makes you get, like, a gift for her, and she makes you, like, show her the divorce papers. Um, even though she has a damn boyfriend, she makes you show her the, boy, the divorce papers. You have to, like, go get a tan. You have to... <sighs> Go to the gym and get all ripped and all that. Like, you have to do all this work for Patty. And then when you finally get to go on a date with Patty, which is really just go to her hotel room, um, uh, Patty, like, as you and Patty are falling asleep, Patty is thinking about her boyfriend, Arnold, and how she's going to break it off with Arnold because she loves Larry. And Larry loves Patty. He's thinking about, wow, I love Patty. She's thinking, wow, I love Larry. Larry's thinking, you know, how did I get to be so lucky? I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this chick. She's thinking, I'm going to break up with my boyfriend, Arnold, to be with Larry. And she says the word Arnold. And Larry hears it. So as she's like falling asleep, 
she accidentally mutters the word Arnold, you know, she's going to break up with him. Well, in my opinion, she shouldn't have been with Larry if she had a boyfriend named Arnold, right? Like, why is she with Larry if she has a boyfriend, Arnold? So now she just, she cheated on Arnold. So now she's a piece of shit because she cheated. And then, you know, unintentionally, of course, it's just a video game. I'm mostly just joking around. She's, you know, she says Arnold. And so Larry hears it. So now Larry's sad. And Larry is the protagonist of the, of the series. It's Larry Laffer, you know? It's Larry, like he's lovable, you know? So, I've just been kind of talking shit on Patty here. Because she basically ruined it. Basically ruined it. And made Larry walk off in the middle of the night. So now, as Patty... Uh, all right. So, as Patty, uh, let's see, 16, I'm Patty. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, we got to get into Chippendales, which I don't think we've been in Chippendales before. How about, look at man, life of the party. If the party was an Undertaker's convention. Talk to man. Give me some information about the show inside. Special low rate of only $25. Of course, with tax, it'll come to $42.95 exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Pay him. Pay him. Pay money. Give money. Okay, now we're going to go in here. Oh, sit down. Look, what a nasty establishment this is. You love it. Ladies and gentlemen, or ladies and ladies. Ha, <laughs> it actually looks like a bunch of dudes. Says the voiceover announcer, Chip and Dale is proud to present in person tonight only for one show, only the first, the original, the greatest, the owner, Dale. A smattering of applause. panties at Dale. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This is gross. It's doing some, some weird dances. just watched a man in a strip club. Oh, he's gonna have to come back for his clothes. There he is. Talk to Dale. Look at Dale. Look at Dale. Oh, 
<laughs> Magnum dong. Hello, hi, leave. See you later, Dale. Stand, let's get out of here. Oh, and now the maitre d'. What? How about that Dale, she says. Save game. We're gonna go in the forest. Now it says read the manual, right? So Okay, so there is a song that is that is uh, in here. Um, when you read the manual, there's like some music uh, on on like on the pages here. The very first thing of music. Excuse me. Hmm. So once we go in here, <clears throat> yeah, the very first, it's just like never, 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 eins washed, no, eat. None tonight, nectarines when we're slurping, naturally, wholesomely, we nibble, nutritiously, with nectarines. So you can see <laughs> Grim the Reaper, dude, thank you very much, man. Thank you so much for the, for the, the, the bits, dude. What are we going for? Oh yeah, we're gonna get The Last of Us Part Two once that comes out. Yeah, so in the mu the music, if you look at the music, all the numbers are, or the letters are <clears throat> like the, the first letter of the music. Is, is the directions that it wants you to go. So, should be a north, north, east, east. So we did north. <clears throat> then we did a second north. Now we're gonna go double east. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Thanks for the ten bits. Okay. So now we're going to go northwest, northeast. North. We, now we got to go west. North again. <clears throat> now we need to go east. Northwest, northeast. So this is going to be north, north, northwest. Okay, so now <clears throat> north, north, northwest. 
Oh, she's like hunched over. That's one north. She's hunched over like a cave woman. Two north. You need a third north. Because it's north, 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 west. Okay. That was the third. Yeah, she's having some back issues, folks. Show. <clears throat> Wait, north, 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 west. Now it's gonna be. Okay. North, 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 west. West, south, west, west. Okay, so we have west. Now we're gonna go south. And then west, west. Oh, uh, drink water. Forest two. So west, west. And now it's going to be north, north, west, north. North, north, west, north. So north, another north. <clears throat> We need to go west. Oh, she's getting thirsty again. <clears throat> okay, this should be it because there aren't any more musical notes in the in the game manual over here. Beautiful stream, huh? Drink water. Hell yeah, dudes. Without a trace of caffeine, it says no caffeine. Okay, so I don't think we need to go in the stream, but it looks like we can go out over here. Oh. Okay, it looks like a cliff. So can we go east? Should we climb? We could climb the bamboo stuff. We go east. Okay, there's a cliff. Just a cliff. So we have a rock. And we have that, which we can maybe crawl over. Let's go look. Uh... Resembling a, a boat tie down. Pantyhose, bra, dress, and magic marker. Tie pantyhose to rock. Take off pantyhose. And we've taken off our panties. Pantyhose to rock. Over the edge of the cliff, baby. Hmm. You lower yourself, an experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. What up, YOLO? YOLO, one, two, three, eight, seven, four. YOLO, how's it going, man? Hey, man. An experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. Over the sheer side of the canyon wall, your full weight supported only by a pair of run-filled pantyhose. Uh, you wish you'd change to a clean pair this morning. So gross. Boing, boing. Look at those pantyhose, dude. They're doing work. Uh oh. Ugh. Yeah, why'd you change, man? 
Just felt better doing YOLO. Looks like it changed your your badge too a little bit. Plants with unusually sh <laughs> You see those leaves? <laughs> Get some plants. <laughs> You sure this is something you should be doing? You can make a hemp rope. Oh, now we can throw the rope. Dope rope, baby. Look at the trees. Coconut palms, so climb tree and get a coconut. Oh yeah, man. Welcome back, YOLO. I, I mean, I like get coconut. Ah. Okay, climb down. Now we can throw. We can throw the rope. We can uh, throw rope. Yeah, that. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we got 3,000 out of 4,000. We're getting somewhere. We got 3,000 point, points, PTs. PTs, tees, tees, tees. Uh, let's see, tie rope to tree so we can cross it. rope Is that a bird on the rope? That's such a long Such a long rope. I know we didn't tie that rope together. <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping the knees together because of the, because of the damn dress. Oh, there goes the bird. Oh. Okay. Philly is someone to secure yourself the rope. Your hands uh, have certain skills, but rope grasping is not one of them. Ah, uh, so those are some breasts. <laughs> Keep on muddling. 3,000 points. Tie rope to tree. She can tear her dress so that way her legs can work better. Climb rope. Safety harness works. I think the bird moved also. Did the bird move? I think the bird moved.
Well, shit. Now we'll never know if there's anything I didn't get. Did I get the nuts? Well, I got coconuts. We're good. so gross. Alright, so tie rope to tree. Yep. Tear the dress. Okay. Draw. Okay. Cross rope. shave my my face a little Sideburns. Aha! Put nuts in bra. Oh, we should save just in case he gets us again. Don't. Oh, I saved it as Dom. Thirty-six C Bolas has done his duty. Running dangerously low on clothing. Yeah. What up, Winsome? What's up, man? Pretty much towards the end of the game. Too deep, too rapid to swim. How you proceed from here? What's this in the water? Is it wood? Look at wood? Is it a look at log? Ah, okay. So it's a log. Ride the log. log into river uh, ride log you mount the gnarly log an experience not wholly unfamiliar to you <laughs> you did it dang look at all them duke money blocks man Hey Winston, do you uh do you have shutters on your house? Oh, I think we just died. Yeah, we did. We died. We died, we died, we died. Okay. Ooh. 
Throw nuts. Wait, throw bra at pig. You do have shutters? Okay. Gotcha. We were talking about that today. <clears throat> Clean my grandma's house. The shutters, I'm not sure that they look any better than they did. Everything else looked awesome. I think she has like vinyl shutters and vinyl siding. Everything else looked super awesome, but the shutters didn't really look that much better. We're gonna have to do a little bit of research and like do some stuff tomorrow. Uh, push log into river. We're gonna do a little bit of research tomorrow and see if we can figure out like why that might be and, and try to get that fixed before I start actually uh, making any money cleaning houses. Um, let's see here. Ride the lightning! Okay. So we need to try to uh, not get hit by... Oh, oh fuck balls. We got hit quick. Ride the log, let's go. <laughs> you mount the gnarly log. Alright, let's do it. Now, <laughs> that kind of sucks. It looked to me like they were going to move it. Didn't move. Okay, so yeah, so you can't... You can't just, like, ride on the side of it. <gasps> Can you go all left? Oh. <laughs> we have to beat this arcade sequence. so weird how it like moves the screen oh it's like a moth just like flew by. oh my god this moth just like flew over my monitor <laughs> like the second it pulled up on the screen I just moved I think it was gonna hit me no matter what <sighs> wow I'm like preemptively moving and it's not going up. That was pretty good though. We were getting it. crack whore we could just bypass it but I really want to win oh <laughs> oh 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 you son of a beeswax It like, the rocks come like in like the direction that you're going. So it's like, all, all you really need to do is, ah, I shouldn't have gone back. This is like the crappiest part of the game right now for sure. Oh, I didn't even mean to hit that. Which is hilarious because I was actually just kayaking like two days ago. So you would think I'd know how to go down a damn river. A little bit better than this. <laughs> I don't like how it's going faster either. What? There's another log. 
And we're going faster. I don't like that at all. Why are there so many... Fuck! How far do you have to go? And she's... I'm getting torn apart. Look at that. Look at the death sequence. So alligators going to town on me. He's not even eating the good parts. He went straight for the... For the freaking arms. That was the farthest I've gotten, though. I really don't want to have to bypass this. I, I really feel like we should... I feel like we should knock it out of the park. Fudge! Come on. Come on. I wonder if we could, like, save it. And do like RTL. Okay, so now we know. Oh my. You guys can still hear. There we go. Okay. Let's try it again. But let's go right. Okay, we can't. So we can't do that right away. God, come on. Can I just put it over here? Yeah, there we go. Let's just do that. Okay, so we can we can hit escape, we can restore, and we can go here. Okay, escape, restore, here. Okay, we can save it again. That's right the lightning. Save it again as Ride the Lightning. <laughs> We're so cheating it up right now. It's bad. Oh my god. Almost. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Fudge sickle. Son of a biscuit on a Sunday. It's like you pass like three like like three obstacles and it's like oh okay we can keep going. Okay, let's save it again. Let's keep it up. Okay, all right, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got past a couple more. So we keep going. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. Okay, couple more. Couple more, okay, all right, okay. I'm getting there. Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We're just cheating the crap out of the system. It's your worst nightmare. Children. Oh my god. Why are there children in the river? Why are there children in the river? Uh-oh. That's this this might not be good. I might have screwed up here. Oh no, we're okay. Oh, there's an alligator? This is this is just getting stupid now. Oh my god. Oh jeez.
Oh my god, shit. It's just getting ridiculous now. Like I don't I need I need to Like, look at how shitty this sequence is. Like, how many times have I loaded? You know what I mean? And it's it's random, so it's not like, oh, I'm just, like, constantly running into, like, the same thing. That was two alligators in a row, yes, but that was a log. See, like, how was I supposed to avoid that? Jesus, man. What a shitty fucking arcade scene. You know what I mean? Like, come the shit on. Like, I mean, I guess that's why they let you freaking skip it. Oh, yeah, just... Patty's going through the ringer, dude. Look at how many times I've ran her into shit. It's almost like you need to go right and then left right away. Okay, so we can save it now. Okay. Come on. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. We see, we're seeing on the left here how far we have to go still. Save. I'm getting pretty good at like the juke. You made it. It just said I made it. Oh my gosh. Look for a place to beat your trusty log. Look out. What have they done to you, Patty? None tonight's famous tribe of Amazonian women, lesbian, cannibal natives. What we do now, how we ever find your Larry. Oh, God, they're huge. On the other hand, where do they find such stylish outfits way out here in this wilderness? <laughs> oh, God. Look at that. Like, the Amazonian women are forcing the men into slave labor. Knocked unconscious, securely wrapped in the Amazonian woman cannibal's net. You hang over her shoulder like a sack of potatoes in an army mess. Oh, Patty, where will they take you? What will they do to you? What will happen to you? And will there be a hairdresser available to you afterwards? Uh-oh, I didn't see what that said. You finally recall a blind date when you were at Juilliard. As you slowly regain consciousness, the blackness leaves your brain and you realize you are no longer tied up in that net. But something tells you you are no longer alone. Larry, it's you! Patty, it's you! Larry, I've missed you so. Patty, I've missed you so. Couldn't believe you left. Can't believe I felt. Finally, I found a perfect match. How do you disappear in the thin air? Waking to an empty bed. Rushed to the balcony. Saw you disappear through that horrible bamboo forest. I started out after you. And I found you. We're together again at last. At this time to stay. 
tell me, Larry, why did you go? Whatever caused you to leave like that? You, you did, Patty, after the most fantastic night of my life, just as I was drifting away into a blissful sleep. Heard you murmur one word, Arnold. Why, Patty, if I'm so special, why would you speak someone else's name? Weren't you thinking of him when we made love? Oh, Larry, you wonderful, fragile fool. I was thinking of him because I was trying to figure out how to tell him I was going to leave him for you. Patty, I am a fool, but what's the difference? At last we understand. We both feel the same for each other. We'll be together for the rest of our lives. Speaking of which, you did come here to rescue me, didn't you? You do have some sort of plan, don't you? You didn't travel all this way just so you could join me for dinner in their stomachs, did you? Or, uh, well, just a minute, you stall. I'm sure I'll think of something. You better think fast, Larry responds. I think these gals have got something cooking, and it's gonna be us. And now we can type. We can type. We can type. We can typey typey. So we have a key, a dress, and a magic marker. Use magic marker. Larry, I don't know if this will work or not, but the only thing I can think of is this magic marking pen I picked up back at the lounge. Let me see if I can draw us a way out of this mess. Magic door? I don't know, Larry. From the looks of things hereabouts, I don't want to stay around here. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you, honey. See you on the other side. I see you on the other side. Son of a bitch, Patty. Bloop. Son of a bitch, I'm falling. Larry, what happened? I don't know, Patty, but it feels like we just fell out of the game. Question is, where will we end up? Police quest. Ah. What? What? This is awesome. Meanwhile, back at the Sierra Studios, workers are busy filming yet another exciting episode in the never-ending saga of Sonny Bonds and the citizens of Litton, California, USA. So this looks like this table right here in, in the Police Quest franchise games, like you have like a top-down view, which it looks like the camera's right in the center of the screen. Uh, at the top part of the center of the screen, looks like a camera shooting down... And that's what you see in the game is you get to you're basically like looking down at the map of Lytton, Lytton, California. That's hilarious how they're doing that. Quiet on the set, please. Music. Action. Oh man, and you can see that's so funny because you see the cop cars moving like that on the map. You just see them driving like the cameras top down and you see the cars moving. It's just guys underneath. <laughs> like, <laughs> Craig, look out, get out of here. Oh, okay, we fell through, we fell through. Yep. Godzilla Larry, or you'll destroy the city of Lytton. Oh, he got electrocuted. <laughs> oh, and then he falls through. So this is probably Police Quest 2. Some guys really know how to make an entrance. Staggering to his feet, Larry surveys your new surroundings. Larry spots you lying motionless on the floor beneath the miniature city of Lytton. Patty, are you okay? She, he cries. I guess so, you reply, but if I keep doing my own stunts like this, I'm going to end up flat-chested. Okay, I can't move. But what is this place, Larry, you ask? Good question, he replies, although it does seem familiar. You take the lead, Patty. Let's explore. King's Quest. <laughs> now, 
Now, okay, so here we go. We have the King's Quest banner. We have some Roman numerals. We have some Police Quest, like, uh, the silhouettes. And you can see all the signs over here on the right. You can see all the traveling salesmen on the left, uh, right above my head, right above right here. The traveling salesmen that are sent out in, um, in Space Quest 2, I think. And then we also have, um, right about here, <laughs> we have the taxi cab from Leisure Suit Larry 1. Where you're riding around in the in the in the car, we have the, um, the cauldron. I mean, shit, that could be from any any of the games. Oh, this is so cool. I love it when they break uh, the the fourth wall. What fourth wall? <laughs> God, this is this is stuff is like right up my and, and the monolith burger. So just above Patty's head is the monolith burger sign, which is in Space Quest 4, and maybe some other stuff. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch, you shout, now what? We're weightless, Larry yells. So there's like an Acme, like anti-gravity machine. We can look. Set of space quest. The machine is working away down near the floor. Turn off machine. Unplug machine. Oh, okay. Now is Larry gonna bounce off the Yeah, so this is this is the very first scene of Space Quest One. Boop. Look, Larry, you cry. I did it. The anti gravity generator's unplugged. Wait a minute, Patty, Larry yells, if there's no anti gravity. Oh, both their asses were sticking straight up. <laughs> wow, Patty, that was a rough one. What's next? Oh, my God. Oh, Perils of Rosella. Chuck that camera left. Yeah, this is uh, Perils of Rosella. This is um, King's Quest, like, 5? King's Quest 4. Yeah, it's King's Quest 4 where she's in the uh, the big freaking whale mouth or whatever. Yeah. So this game, King's Quest 4, came out a year before this game right here, Leisure Suit Larry 3. So they have the set here of King's Quest 4 Perils of Rosella. No, 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 move back! Good, good, that's fine. Stop right there, barks the woman in the director's chair. Turning to the actress on the set, she says, Now, Rosella, what do you say we take it again from the top? And this time, really show me some emotion. And action. Yeah, and he's got the teeth. Oh, she fell. Cut! No, that's no good. Try it from the right side this time. That is so awesome. And action. Oh, no. No, cut. You slipped again, Rosella. And action. We must get all the way up that uvula, to the uvula. 
What's going on here, Par Patty? I don't know, Larry, but that girl certainly seems tired of going down on that tongue. This just isn't right, whines the actress on the giant tongue set. It's too humid in here. This wool skirt keeps soaking up water. That goo you spread on the tongue is too slippery. You haven't given me my motivation for this scene yet. Thank you very much, Rosella. If you have any other complaints, please don't let me stop you. Well, yes, I do, she pouts, pointing directly at you and Larry. I thought this was a closed set. Who are those two people over there? Cut, break, ten minutes, people. She shouts to the crew. Angry glare, she turns toward you and Larry. And who are you? What are you doing here? How'd you get in? Come over here right now. She moved closer. You recognize the woman in the director's chair. Why, Larry? Look, it's Roberta Williams. Yeah, she's the creator of the King's Quest series. To her, you cry, Oh, Miss Williams, I've loved your games for years. What an honor this is to finally meet my software hero. Roberta softens noticeably. Well, yes, I, I, uh, I am Roberta Williams, but who are you? Well, Roberta, I'm Passionate Patty, the world-famous lounge pianist. Pianist. The gentleman to your right is my lover. His name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Nice to meet you both, said Roberta, but how did you get in here? This is supposed to be a high-security area. We just dropped in. Literally, offers Larry. Actually, Roberta, we've had one hell of an adventure just getting here. Well, I've been through a virtual maze of bamboo forest with just one drink of water... Repelled down a sheer cliff on a pair of pantyhose, crossed an incredible chasm with only a handmade rope, fought ferocious feral swine with my underwear, ridden a log through a whitewater canyon, and... Okay, already. Enough, enough, laughs Roberta. But what about him? I, I, Larry stammers. I've had quite a few adventures in my day, too. Oh, really? replies Roberta. Anything that might make an adventure game? Of course it would, Bert, he bragged confidently. If you could just set us up with a pretty, with a little place to work, up to my reasonable standards, of course, we would write a whole series of adventure games for you. <clears throat> we could discuss this over lunch, Larry interrupts. Haven't eaten a thing this entire game. As the three of you head off together, Roberta says, we do have a home on the lake. Would that adequately meet, adequately meet your needs, Patty? <laughs> So it ends. Larry and Patty move in together, sharing a simple programmer's shack in the mountains. Patty gives up her musician's life on the road for the one man she found able to match her passion. Larry begins to tell the world his life story through software. Let's see now. It all begins in Lost Wages. Outside a bar named Louis, no Lowe's. No, that's, hey, Patty, give me a name for a bar. Gotta take a picture of that. Lefties! That's good, babe! Which is the bar at the beginning of Leisure Suit Larry 1. Maybe I should compile and test this. It's gonna break. See if my little Larry can go inside. Ah, he's programming himself. I love it. Yep, he walks into Lefty's bar. Hope you've enjoyed Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passion of Patty, and Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. You, Larry, and Patty have certainly been through a lot together. You did a great job, but you did miss a little something. For instance, probably don't know it, but a lot of the points that are missing above get lost when you didn't completely explore the island in your showgirl costume. the TV. The TV in the middle of the frickin' forest. That's weird. The TV in the middle of the forest, like that lounge? What the hell was that? <sighs> oh well. Well, that's Leisure Suit Larry 3. 
next one's Leisure Suit Larry 5, because Leisure Suit Larry 4 is like, there's this huge story behind where that game is. But, you know, this is the original trilogy here, where it's still full-blown, like, Owl Low. Um, and, you know, this is like the heyday of Sierra. It's like the, the late 80s and early 90s was their heyday. You know, I think they were sh done making games by, like, 95 or 96 or something like that. I wonder what would have been, like, like, Police Quest 4, let's say. Yeah, Police Quest 4 was made in 93? Okay. Let's go King's Quest 7. 7 was 94, so yeah, like they were done by 95 pretty much. Space Quest 6? 95! Space Quest 6 was 95. Okay. Um. Please just shoot Larry. Seven. Love for Sale was also 96. Okay. So that was still out low. So yeah, it was like late 80s to mid 90s. Uh, you know, it was like when they, when they were doing their stuff, you know. What other one didn't I look up? Quest, quest for Glory? So like, Quest for Glory, what, 5? Oh, that was 98 even. But that's still... Yeah, that, that's... That's like not really in their heyday anymore. Like, the, oof, it's, the graphics look like shit. I've never played Quest for Glory 5. I think I think I'm actually on Quest for Glory uh, 4, which was 93. Yeah. So uh, either way, that's Leisure Suit Larry 3. Um, that's like three Leisure Suit Larry games that I beat in a row because I I realized that I was in the middle of all of the other Sierra Point and Click Adventure games and I hadn't even started Leisure Suit Larry th um, the Leisure Suit Larry uh, series on the stream at all. So now that we've got like a good little chunk out of it. You know, we've got Quest for Glories on there. We've got Leisure Suit Larry's on there now. Police Quests, Space Quests, King's Quests. So we've started all of these, and I've even started doing some other stuff that were like the old point-and-click adventure games like Full Throttle and uh, Gabriel Knight, Grim Fandango, stuff like that. So we are going to do Freddy Farkas at some point as well. Freddy Farkas is the Frontier Pharmacist. And um, that game, that game was uh, was a, uh, 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 oh, hold on a second. No, it is a Sierra Online game. I was thinking that Freddy Farkas was actually uh, not a Sierra game, so I definitely have to do Freddy Farkas because it's a 1993 Sierra point-and-click adventure game. Um, I was for sure thought it was a LucasArts game. Um, Lucas Arts point and click. So let's see Lucas Arts point and click. Lucas Arts Adventure Games. Oh, the Secret of Monkey Monkey Island Games. So yeah, like Maniac Mansion, I don't really care about. But like, lo okay, Loom. Like we need to play Loom. Um, I think the Dig. I think the Dig is also. Day of the Tentacle, I don't know. The Dig, I'm pretty sure, was also a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis. We're going to play some Indiana Jones games for sure. We're definitely going to play through all the Monkey Island games. Full Throttle. We already played. That was like maybe even the first game that I played on stream, and that is still on my YouTube. The Dig. Yep, 1995, The Dig. 
Now the dig I might not actually have on stream, so we might have to do that one again. But um, the dig is super neat. It's actually a game that was envisioned by Steven Spielberg. Uh, you know, and influenced by Steven Spielberg, and it's it's such, such a neat. The dig is basically like um, Armageddon, 1998 film, um, which was done by Michael Bay. Okay, I was gonna, I was trying to find out if he was, if in the movie Armageddon, Steven Spiel, Steven Spielberg was involved at all. I'm not really seeing it, but yeah, um, the dig is kind of like Armageddon, but definitely the dig has more like extraterrestrial or supernatural kind of elements to it. Um, and then, yeah, Grim Fandango, which I just did, was not the biggest fan of. More Monkey Island. Yeah, so... We de definitely have to uh, go back and play some of these games, uh, LucasArts games and Sierra games. We still have... I would say at least a dozen games to go back through and play. Um, and that's probably just the Sierra ones. I don't know. Either way, that's a wrap for Leisure Suit Larry 3. Um, I don't know. I might play... I might play some, uh, some of The Last of Us right now. Trying to figure out what I feel like doing, if I feel like playing it or not. That's it. We are done with Leisure Suit Larry 3. The end. <laughs> You're gonna quit already? So we can definitely go ahead and uninstall Leisure Suit Larry 3. We can install Leisure Suit Larry 5. Um, is the next game in the series to be playing. Now... Space Quest, let's see, finish. Shadowrun Hong Kong, we can actually go ahead and uninstall that because we did beat that. And um, well, let's see, we do have the Space Quest, select, uh, Space Quest collection already installed, so that's good that that's on there. And I wonder, let's see, how is, How's Quest for Glory? Is Quest for Glory even in here at all? Uh, Quest for Glory Collection. I think we should install that. Let's install the Quest for Glory Collection. 
And let's see, the uh, King's Quest collection is already installed. So we have quest for glory, uh, police quests, which we're done with. We are done with the police quest because we went through the police quest collection with Winston Mars. So we pretty much pretty much already like ripped through those or whatever. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh anyways, everybody have a good night. I'm gonna catch you later. We will play some more games probably tomorrow. Maybe if I feel like it, I'll get right back on and I'll play The Last of Us. Have a good night.